When you're looking for a new boiler, it can be difficult to know what the different sizes mean and which one is right for your home. So in this video, we're going to explain what energy output means and how this influences the size of boiler you'll need. On the box website, our filtering system means that you'll only ever be shown boilers suitable for your needs. But let's have a look at how these filters work and how we get to that definitive list. The size of the boiler is also known as the output and is measured in kilowatts. The higher the number of kilowatts, the more powerful the boiler. It's important to match the size and type of boiler to your heating and hot water needs. If your boiler's too small, then you'll be overworking it to achieve the level of water and heat required for the space, and the efficiency and lifespan of the boiler can be affected. If your boiler is too powerful for your home, it won't necessarily affect the operation of it because modern boilers can modulate to only use the amount of energy required. However, it will be a bigger upfront cost to purchase the boiler and can require additional work during the installation, such as upgrading the gas supply. So it's worth making sure you're not opting for more power than you'll need. A tip to bear in mind is that if you're planning on renovating in the future, for example, adding extra bathrooms or living space with more radiators, then it's worth factoring these in when selecting your brand new boiler. The output you'll need is influenced by a few factors. The number of baths and showers in your home, the number of radiators you have, and finally, the type of system you're looking at. Combi boilers supply hot water in a different way to standard or system boilers, which use hot water tanks. So it means that they need a different approach to the output required. Standard and system boilers use a hot water tank to supply hot water and the boiler itself for your heating. To work out the output you need, there's a simple calculation you can follow. Add 1.5 kilowatts of power for every radiator in your home, and then add on a minimum of three kilowatts to account for the hot water tank, depending on the type of cylinder you have. So, for example, if you have 10 radiators in your home, you'll need 15 kilowatts to cover those. Then add three kilowatts for the hot water tank, meaning you'll need an output of 18 kilowatts. Combi boilers supply your heating and hot water all from one unit. So unlike a system or standard boiler, they don't use a separate hot water tank. This means they need a higher energy output so that they have enough power to heat up water on demand and you're not left shivering in a cold shower. To start with, count the number of showers in your home and use these as a guide for your hot water output requirements. If you only have a bath in your home, then 25 kilowatts of power will be sufficient for your hot water. But bear in mind that it may take a little longer to run a full bath. Only have one shower? 30 kilowatts is plenty for you. If you have two or more showers, then you want to be looking at a hot water output of 35 kilowatts or higher. However, with combi boilers, it's important to remember that because they heat the water you need on demand, if you're going to be using more than one shower at once, then the water supplied will be less powerful as the flow from the boiler will be shared between each outlet. The same applies for taps. So if someone turns on the hot tap in the kitchen while you're in the shower, you'll experience a reduction in your shower's power. This can be impacted by your cold mains water pressure. If you're not sure what's best for you, then our experts are always on hand to help. Don't forget to make sure your new boiler choice has enough power for your heating. You can use the same basic calculation as for a standard or system boiler of 1.5 kilowatts per radiator. But this time, you don't need to add anything else on for a hot water tank, as it doesn't have one. If that all sounds quite technical, don't worry. We've made it super easy to find the best type and size of boiler for your home. Simply click on the link below to use our simple step-by-step -step find a boiler tool. It's the best way to make sure you're getting the exact boiler you need. If you have any questions, we're always here to help. Feel free to contact us directly on this number or use the live chat on our website and one of our box experts will be on hand to help.